Researchers from the Duke Center for Neuroengineering developed technology allowing monkeys to control virtual arms using only their brain signals. Scientists were able to create a robotic link that rerouted the monkey's thoughts to these arms. The research was led by neuroscientist Miguel Nicolales, who has been experimenting with this technology for the last 10 years. He calls this a key development in building brain-controlled exoskeletons for those who are paralyzed. You know, like in James Cameron's Avatar, only without a aliens and with way less impressive graphics. Researchers are racing to develop tools to restore mobility and sense of touch in the millions of people around the world with spinal injuries. Until now, the brain-machine interface they've been testing has only been able to control one prosthetic limb at a time. In the experiments, two rhesus monkeys learn to move avatar arms and hold them over two white areas on a screen. While connected to the computer through surgically implanted electrodes, they use their thoughts to replicate the movements in a virtual space. The monkeys did not have to control their hands, which would require much more control and coordination. There's still a long way to go before a system like this could replicate two-handed tasks. The research is part of the Walk Again Project, an international collaboration working to build brain-controlled neuroprosthetic devices. They plan to demonstrate its first brain-controlled exoskeleton during the opening ceremony of the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil. But Duke's research team isn't the only group of scientists with good news to share. In a related study, scientists in the UK and Switzerland Switzerland report using brain-machine interfaces to restore bladder control in paralyzed rats. Both studies were published in a special issue of Science Translational Medicine dedicated to brain and machine interfaces. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.